tonight we are back for another Canyon Questions. Uh, this is the video series on our website where we try to think through ministry issues, talk about some philosophy of ministry and things of that nature. Uh, I just want to ask you, tell us a little bit about, as you as you think about preaching through a book, you know, look back at the history of our church in like a year and nine months now, and you've gone through Colossians, you did Habakkuk, you did um, a series on the Great Commission, we're now in John, and tell, tell me a little bit about how long you plan to be in John, and how you try to think through the, the pace of preaching through that book. Great. Um, the normal pattern in our church is to go verse by verse through a, a book of the Bible. Uh, we believe that gives you the, the fullest context of what that author is trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if, if we found a letter from you to your wife 75 years from now, it was a seven-page letter, to really know you and what you were trying to communicate to her, we wouldn't just drop in in some random paragraph on Don't page four. Don't start on four. page seven. Yeah, yeah, right. And then just read it and say, oh, we know exactly what he meant. Uh, we'd want to know the beginning all the way through the end, give mm -hmm. a full picture. Mm -hmm. And so we, we go verse by verse um, through a book. Uh, my, my plan with John, with most of the books uh, that we've gone through and will go through, Lord willing, um, is to go slow enough to where we get the depth of what's in each passage, uh, we're almost um, we're almost mining every Sunday. We're not trying to skip rocks over a pond. Right. We're trying to scuba dive down deep and explore for a while, come back up, move a little further, go down deep and explore. Um, I think the trend in American evangelicalism, sadly, has been to go too fast through a book or not even go through a book at all or not even use the Bible at all. I mean, you're just getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. um, but, but by God's grace, you know, um, with, the, with the movement of sound biblical preaching that we've seen over the last decade, more, more men are going through the Bible verse by verse, and that's good. That's good. Um, so, so I want to go slow enough that we can go down deep, but I think there's also a risk to going too slow. Um, what would so, be the risk? I think the risk is losing the overall theme of the book, what the what the okay. author's arguing for, uh -huh. um, and trying to keep that in front of the the listeners, the people of God. Mm -hmm. um, you know, men like Martin Lloyd Jones and and others have gone through books of the Bible for almost a decade. Yeah, and and I think that's wonderful uh, because he's Martin Lloyd Jones. <laughs> I'm not him, and so um, uh, my view is slow enough that we can drill down deep which then means we're probably going slower than most people are used to, yep. but fast enough to where we're not losing the overall theme of the book, what John is arguing for, why John's writing, yeah. um, so that by believing in the Son, uh, you may have life in His name, John 20, 31. Yeah. So, so we want to keep that the focus always as mm -hmm. we go through each of these sections. Uh, so that's why we go the speed at which we do. That's good. So as you think about that, Okay, here's a good question for you. How long do you think that will take in John? Yeah, I don't know about time because things come up, right? Sure. Um, uh, sickness or, or unexpected time away or mm -hmm. whatever may come up. What do you up. think, like six months, ten years? I don't think of it in terms of years. I think number of messages. Okay. So I will go through and, and kind of roughly plan the, each message, the, the breaks in each passage. Uh, that's... You know, I have editorial power over that process. I could change that if I want. But, but I think John will probably be 90 to 100 messages. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, I don't miss very many Sundays, so I'll probably be about two years. Yep. Uh, so that that's the plan, but, but things could change that plan. I mean, yep. I may get to John 17 and say 12 messages. Right. Uh, you right. know, with that high priestly prayer. But um, Yes, please. But, but that, yeah, so we don't know. <laughs> But, but roughly probably 90 to 100. Now, would you take that particular approach in the sense of about two years? Would you say you just apply that to every book of Scripture? No. No. Um, I wouldn't. Uh, every book's different. So I would probably preach the Proverbs differently just because of the nature of how they're written, uh, especially 10 through 31, just kind of the verse by verse, and it often changes themes from verse to verse. Mm -hmm. and so it's not like a narrative like this. We can take one section, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the bread of life discourse. Uh, so, so there are different ways to preach different genres. Uh, I believe Psalms should generally probably be preached as a whole unit. Psalm 1 preached. 
Psalm 2 preached in mm -hmm. one message. That's the way they were written, sung. Um, so, so different genres um, mean preaching them different ways. But, but in all across those genres, I'm still planning on going verse by verse to a certain degree. Yeah. Uh, in a long narrative, if I'm doing first or second Kings, um, or Kings, as the original writers would have right. called it. Yeah. If I'm going through Kings, I, I would may, maybe go take some bigger sections, bigger chunks. Um, it all depends on the genre of the book and um, just, just how I can effectively communicate the intent of that author, or the original author, to our people That's as good. well. And you're saying you map that all out before you ever preach the first message in John. You've already mapped out a hundred X number of messages. Right, yes. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of work that goes into that up front to start to plan and to think yeah. how that's all going to land. And that's mainly for me, for my help, so I can see where John's going in Jesus' life. Mm -hmm. um, what, are the, what are the different sections that he goes through? in his book, uh, most of John is spent in the last six months of Jesus' life. And so when I get to go map those sermons out from John 1 to 21, uh, I'm kind of seeing where he's going in advance. So when I start yeah. preaching John 1, yeah. I kind of know where we're going ahead yeah. of time. So that's yeah. I mainly do that for my own sake. Yeah. Um, so. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for another Canyon Questions.